uh, been with you? Uh, of course, I won't lie. I'm a same at it, uh, it was a smooth process. Yes, kuna kitu inetagwa due diligence. Eh? It is very important. I say to my clients that uh, kuna kitu inetagwa um, search. Mm -hmm. uh, title deed, it's the most useless document when it comes to properties. So there is this document called mutation. So, uh, it is the most important document for properties. Ah, not uh, even the title? Not the title. Ah, okay. Now, if a young person come and you be, uh, I need this property, and you be, uh, I need the title deed, you, I, I usually advise them that, usikimbilia that title deed. Ask first about the site visit, that's number one. Ask uh, for the mutation, ndahenda ni koneshe, ni point point the beacons. Mm. Uh, whatever is being drawn on the mutation must reflect what is on the ground. So if you notice kuku a slight change between the mutation and the groundwork, jue yu shamba ikona shida. So for those of us that don't know what mutation is, yes, <laughs> yes. to explain your mutation, uh, nini? Ni? Mutation, it is this document that uh, before you go to place any beacon kwa shamba, mm -hmm. uh, the surveyor, the licensed surveyor, must come up with a sketch plan. Enye tuko nambia goshule, you draw a sketch, is of it, so must come with a sketch, it approved, Mm. Ikisha kuwa approved, ndiyo ata kujanayo, a place the beacon venya mechora kwa paper and they reflect mm. kwa ground. Mm. Yes. So assuming that mi, mimi kama Grace, yes. nataka ku, kubai shamba yes. or nataka kubai how or something uh, and I'm coming to you, yes. what would be the steps you would ask me to first undertake? Uh, the first step is first to identify the ground. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Ya pili ni kupeleke site visit. Uh, kusha una shamba. Now start asking for the other documents, the title lead, the mutation, okay, are okay, satisfied. Then if you are selling as real-time properties, to we uh, we explain to you the first step, the initial deposit. If we are selling on behalf maybe of Grace, to mm -hmm. Grace Comeza, to Ambia Grace, now this is a client, you are the seller, kindly negotiate on the price. The second step itakuwa, you go do your own due diligence kwa in registry. Kama shambi kongong, you tend to registry and gong. After you are satisfied, you get a, a good lawyer, you draft an agreement. After the agreement, you put the initial deposit. You have been given 90 days for the completion period. Mm. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. May I think. I, I'm now gaining interest in your stories, Ashamba, because yes. I think I'm not growing young anymore, okay. and I'm not going, and sure. I'm not going to sure. depend on my dad's shambas yes. <laughs> to be able to. Really. So it's it's really a conversation that personally I'm also interested in. Yes. So um, you've talked about mutation, you've talked about title deed yes. not being the most important document. Yes. So what next after Mishaf Pati? Uh, after 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 you have signed the the agreement. You have completed uh, the, the initial deposit that, uh, according to the Kenyan law, it is 10%. Then you are given 90 days to complete the payment. After you have completed the payment, now as a seller, I will give you a document called uh, land transfer board. I mean, called the consent, which will you'll be given at the land transfer board. Kuonesha Kwamba, near Solomon, and my wife, we have agreed to sell the land to Greece. Then after I've given you the consent, uh, then you'll pick the consent. Uh, the title deed that is written under my name and we call them the completion documents mm -hmm. after i've given you the completion document now your lawyer can proceed to the land uh, registry to do the transfer uh, of the document into your name you've raised a very important point yes i'll call command angle to ask you later but now that you've raised it right now let me just bring it yes. up we've heard of stories that it's it's what's happening in the society currently. Yes. Someone was with someone, they, they were together, we are kabaya uyu shamba and then wame achana and then now who you ana skuzo kwa kwa yu shamba or something. Yes. Um you being in that field, mm -hmm. uh, what would you advise people that either someone buying someone else shamba mm -hmm. or what are the what what are the I don't know what to what to really call it, mm -hmm. but what are the terms of engagement for people buying a shamba as a couple yes. in the event that they want to now go mm -hmm. their separate mm -hmm. ways? Mm -hmm. that's, a, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, I have a scenario mm -hmm. uh, for a situation come here. Uh, you find uh, Solomon and uh, his partner to go pilot men on shamba as couples. Mm -hmm. uh, steps in Mbili, we can either register the title under both of our names, ah. myself and my partner. Mm -hmm. Ama, Unapata 
Wife of Sema, upon a Solomon, you just and you got title deed. But remember, when you want to sell that land, you have to get the consent. Now the consent to tender lands registry board, what I call is that you have a spouse. When you let me tag spousal consent, the wife or the husband mm -hmm. will have to sign. We have agreed to sell the land. If not so, upitia the shortcut. Mimi nda kuja kama ni wife al kwa kwa title deed, nda kuja ni raise concern. Nda kwa that land was sold without my consent. So, mwenye takuwa kwa shida hapa is the buyer. So, regardless, uh, if you bought the land as couple, mkachana, wakati wakuuza, itabidi to mishikanisho na that process. The other point, yes. um, raise, yeah. Now we've talked about the couple, the spouse, yes. the children. Yes. I'm in church, I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm born again and I go to church. Yes. So one of the things we see in church, ni mm -hmm. watu mwenye, yes. and I have been seeing that of late, especially leadership your church are like, go bring your children yeah. and they tell us you have agreed to give the church the shamba. Yes. What, what is the role of children in this whole story? Mm, initially, mm -hmm. uh, children were not uh, were considered sana in any land process. But nowadays you find that uh, my parents had land, they sold. Mm. Uh, utapata, we as children, my siblings, tutakuja, to say me this land was sold, kama sisa tukoko involved. So even the children can revoke that process. Mm. That's why we find, uh, kama ni wazazi, they are doing uh, whatever they are doing, kuna that land wanandikaga, this land we are holding in trust of our children, so and so and so. So in the title lead, you'll find uh, they have been written, like Grace and Solomon, but in trust of, XYZ, our children. Mm. So, Pale, we cannot do anything to that land if the children are not 18 years and above. So, children peer, they are considered in this process. Ah, okay. Yes. I've been seeing those Mzozo Gogoro that, oh, they, we don't want this shamba being given yeah. to church. We don't want this shamba being given somewhere. So, I've been wondering, what is the role of children in, in land processes? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, what has, what has been your uh, growth? rate like what has so far uh so far so good uh my little story immediately mm -hmm. after i graduated in Moi university mm -hmm. uh as i told you earlier me my point was to create employment to my fellow youths when you're going to campus uh so after graduation uh but i declined because i had passion i had that goal i could create employment somewhere so um, I did not have a good phone. Uh, I had to borrow my younger brother. He was at least a kosawa. So Nikiti Shamba Mali, I used to borrow his phone. Naenda na pinga picha, na post. Stay kujua nani atona, manani atona. But big up to uh, a certain uh, friend of mine called Boniface Irongo. Ali nishika mikono mizuri na kaiza kunyelekeza to one, two, three. Mm, gradually I had to grow. Una pata, you sell one thing, una nyanganyo nyingine, uh, to the point that, sahi, I have my own office. Ime, I've employed like two to three young people, wakoko ofisi, mm. na I cannot regret. The growth has been good, so kuna mm. up and down. So, what was his, was his real estate, has money, nda ingia leo, kesho, iweze mm. ku, ah, uh ah, -uh. ikona that challenge, na pia the willing, the willingness. To, to learn and adapt, uh, adapt new techniques peer. Na nashukuru sana this younger generation, we are coming up with new ideas. Uh, long ago, ile utapata people advertising on bill, uh, I mean on, on trees, on electric posts, uh, like po uh, land for sale, ama certain business, squeeze kukona online. I can reach uh, someone in Kisumu via the internet. Mm. So gradually, kuna growth. Uh, on my side, na pia, kwa technology pia, it has helped me to reach where I am today. We, we are in a generation that is very, I don't know what to call this generation, but it's just a, f for lack of a better word, funny generation that yes. love microwave, microwave success. Lord, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the word actually. Yeah. That's utalala overnight, kesho umemka tumeomoka and then we use the word ni God. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the mood of ni God and kuomoka, yeah. there are some of the, some of business ethics that you have learned over time. What are some that you can share with us? Uh, first and foremost, kwa na ile kitu nimeanza hapa, nimesema transparency. Mm. In real estate ama in any other business, if you are not transparent, you are not accountable, 
na pia you're not trustworthy you cannot go anywhere in any business because today you'll be, uh, you'll bring for me a, a certain deal mm. ni kuoshe wenye tunasamaga kwa street mm. ni kuoshe mm. so kesho definitely you will not give me that business opportunity so if you're not transparent trustworthy and accountable forget about business any business mm. amazing amazing I, w I want to move to your philanthropic side but i also feel like maybe the things that we need to talk to, to talk about in terms of um in terms of um <coughs> i'm sorry in terms of real time business yes. uh, your business what you've been doing with real time but then again we will get back to real time yes. so what fueled your passion for philanthropy mm, I, i guess it's about uh the opportunities that i saw we as as youths we are missing mm -hmm. yes I'm, i'm 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 all about opportunistic i'm that person that if i see there is an opportunity here definitely i must reach there yes so the gap zenye zimekuwa ziki exist in my community palengong ni mwana there is this opportunity i need to to get up and grasp it and niende niipate ndio wenye wamenifuata nyuma watapata a very good clear road yes do you have some projects you've done in the community yes uh, some of them uh, kuna 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 i've been sponsoring this uh, the local uh, sportsmen up of Hongong. i have a club in it Hongong boxing club nimekuwa niki tukiwapeleka tournaments we uh, myself and the head coach anaitwa Jobo Kelo yes kuna uh, it's about uh, kuna kuna hiyo boxing club na pia have been sponsoring uh, student the needy students by uh, paying their school fees na pia doing shopping to them yes wakirudi shule any interest any reason bono uko very interested na that particular category of people uh, they say what is empowerment it is mm. to create leaders among leaders mm. now pale kwa by sponsor, uh, by educational uh, workshop tunaona kuko na youths wako pale they have the potential but hawana that capability ya kwenda pale shule mm -hmm. so uh, we as real time properties to make hivi to make a chini tukaona we need uh, to support where we can kama kuwalipia school fees ndio in future kukuwe na realtors wengi ama kukuwe na news anchors wengi in terms of sports Uh, wanasema si lazima sisi wote tutashake office <laughs> talent nowadays mm. inalipa mm. that's why uh, we as real time properties tulika chini tukona we need to do something uh, most of uh, communities they are focused mostly na football maybe running but kukona this other opportunity boxing boxing inalipa so tukakama are you a boxer yourself yes i'm a boxer ah, okay. yes Uh, so apart from uh, real estate <laughs> mini boxer so tupatana pale nje usi <laughs> yes so tuka tuka kachini tukona ni tushikanisha hao youths to to start a boxing club na it's been doing well kuko na some of our players wameandikwa na Kenya police wengine wameandikwa na uh, KDF so unaona that opportunity that small opportunity ilianza pale ngong imefanya sai kuko na mtu ambaye ni policeman kuna mwenye ni KDF kuna wenye wamepata other opportunities somewhere else through sports. Ah. Yes. So what I don't know I don't know how I should ask that question. Yes. Uh, what do you feel when you when you see some of these people grow into their god-given places or their god-given abilities? Uh, first of all, come on emotional utakuwa emotion. You unajua mali tumetoka. Everyone has their own stories. Mimi mm nikiwa -hmm. pale university had to struggle nilikuwa mm -hmm. na juggle between uh, kukuwa bouncer kwa clubs ndio niko niko 300 kilometers away from Nairobi hakuna mtu najua pale so after classes i had to do uh, bouncer uh, bouncers na pia naweza tokea Eldoret niangalie gari yote imeandikwa car for sale i pick that number i call the owner of the car i can sell this car at a commission so ile struggle nilipitia siwezi taka so muuza magari pia yani muuza magari nikiwa campus ndio wow. niweze kupata hiyo kitu kidogo So I wounded uh, like uh, my fellow youth man apitie ile struggle nilipitia mm -hmm. because it was tough. Mm -hmm. So si tuko wa create employment na tuona wakigrow tuna feel poor sana. Jo at least tutakuwa tumecreate that ladder 
instead waanze pale chini at least watakuwa wameanza pale juu na watapia wata scale na pia wataanza kushika watu wengine so wow. it feels nice wow wow it looks like you were born an entrepreneur thank you okay okay so some of what are some of the challenges you've experienced in real time uh, in real time the kwanza ni tutaanza hapo mtaani mm. watu watasema yule jamaa ameanza kujifanya ni kabroka kale kajina kanitoka kabroka kale ka jamaa kanajifanya kabroka wacha tuone mahali katafika utapata wenye tulikuwa nao campus wametoka wameanza kuona wameenda mbele so hizo challenges utapata kitu wa kwanza ni mokari hiyo e, area e, ya pili ukishaingia kwa kwa hii sector ama in any other industry lazima utanyang'anywa pesa uh, na pia kuna wenye watajaribu kuhinda opportunity even me i'm sure hata kwa hii industry yenu lazima unapiga goma kumbu kuna ule ameko pale juu ataona the uh, grace ameenda juu sana wacha tumvute nyuma so kuko na hizo setbacks pia wa the experienced individuals watajaribu kukuvuta nyuma kuna hiyo kunyang'anywa na pia mfuko huu na hiyo huwe nakauka that's why mimi huambia watu your network is your net worth so usifanye kitu peke yako jaribu kushikana wawili watatu definitely hautakaukiwa sana na pia ideas zitakuja yes so there has been this story ya uh, riparian land that people have been told to move away from and and you know that it has brought a lot of conflict yes. between the government and the people sure. what would be your opinion on that mm, my, my opinion is uh, in every process i said you have to be trustworthy so if you come to me as solomon uh, you want uh, maybe land it all, it all depends with me nikwambie you know what ile area kukinyesha maji itawaisa nje yake that is a riparian land so i won't blame the buyers i will blame the real estate agents they are not saying the truth utapata as a realtor i have to be so versatile with my industry i know in nje ya maji ile ni government land this is what we, sh we should sell so is a riparian land uh, sorry to say uh, but it is high time people are songe show up because we have to save life we have to save god life na pia it won't make sense you come uh, put your entire fortune pale like 5 10 million unajenga kitu pale and definitely kukinyesha itaenda chini so i won't say that i'm not sorry but people should move uh, na pia real uh, real estate agents tuseme ukweli mm -hmm. uh, tukijua ile land ni riparian ambia watu ni riparian yes okay I realized that I made a story riparian land and then I realized that I didn't even ask you what riparian land is. Uh, a riparian land is a land that uh, uh, assuming that uh, there is a, an existing river mm. at this point uh, uh, on both sides the government usually set aside like uh, 100 meters on the left 100 meters on the right. So the the the, the, the your land in Yemek was secluded that is a riparian land. Yo, in just in case riverbed iko overflowed so the the, the excluded uh, portion hiyo maji itakuwa inapita hapo hivyo so that is a riparian land ah okay so once i find myself as a, as as a as, as a buyer yes a bot land sasa ni kwa na issues mm -hmm. what next uh it depends na issues gani kama ni issues that zinaweza kuwa resolved like we have bought land na umepata bikoni yako iko kwa jirani yako that is something that you guys can resolve si lazima mfikishe kotini na pia you can buy land you find yourself kuko na kuna kitu tunasemaga mumeuzia watu kama tano watu wamecheza na title deed wame wako na title deeds fake so pale hivyo ndio mta mtaenda kotini ndio ijulikane hii land nani ndio alikuwa the original owner kuna kitu tunaita the green card the green card in a real estate ama kwa hii field ya mashamba ni the card that shows the history of the land from the colonial era ili toka hapa kaingia hapa katoka hapa kaingia hapa so hapo hivyo ndio wataenda waangalie the green card so ukijipata kwa situation yenye kuna kaka kaka ka, 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 ka shida kwa shamba kwanza angalia ni shida gani unaweza kuumenua shamba upate ni venye uko na niuliza spouse amekataa so instead of going to court kwanza find a amicable solution waita wote wawili the spouse muambie mnatakaje kwa sababu hata ukienda pale kwa koti pesa tu itaenda bure mm. so ukipata niyo shida mko watu wengi kwa shamba 
hapo ndio tuta, tuta involve a good lawyer you file your case yende pale kotini na process itaanza kujua nani yako na who is the rightful person to that land why why do we have because some of the cases that are filling the courts yes. are land cases mm -hmm. why do you feel or rather why do you think such is case what such is the issue mm, they say uh, land is the most preciable uh, precious thing who in appreciate day in day out and uh, they are not creating land anymore in azidi kuku expensive so utapata as i said uh, if you want to buy land you are so green to that process you go find a, a real a real estate agent I'm a real estate firm umeenda ukawambia i need land if they won't tell you the truth unaweza kupata kwa shida wataona this person agrees ako very green to this process wacha tumshikanishe pale we sell her land in sio hiyo what will you do utaenda kotini utapata mwingine muzio uh, hiyo land ameenda kotini and remember in any court case any in involve land usifikirie you you will do it uh, na 5 years at utoke ama 3 years utoke court cases za shamba zinakuaga they can go even to 10 15 years wow. yes that's why utapata pile up ya yeah, court case ya mashamba na utapata high court ndio ilikuja ka devolve utapata kajiado kuko na high court most probably na deal na mashamba ukienda another county kuna high court na ni juu ya mashamba Wow. Yes. I didn't know. Wow, that's basically siko tuki tuki tukiangalia kitu it all comes to trust. Mm. Trust ukipata mtu si trust with the this process. Mm. Utaumia. So for someone who doesn't know to distinguish like personally I don't think mm. I would know how to distinguish real and fake title deeds. How do we distinguish them? Mm, for a real ama a fake title deed kuna that, that title deed kuna inaza inafaa kuwa na sila. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I hope I wish ningekuja na title deed kuna kwa gana sila ambayo iko pale hivyo chini on your right inako ga registry na kuko na um, signature at the land registrar mm -hmm. so most of the time when ndaga wana fake your seal but ukiangalia vinyo naangalia ga pesa ukisikia texture ni very ni inako ga tofauti sana na pia kwa hizo fake title deed mingi zinaga hiyo sign ya registrar inako ga imesaini hiyo somewhere ka, kadogo sana wezi realize Yes. So nikiona title deed nikifeel okay feel ka like ni, text ni ka light sana ujua ge hii. Hiyo ni mchezo. Na hiyo mchezo wa mchezo kabisa na zingine zina hiyo signature ya, ya registrar. Wow. Yes. Th that part personal I didn't know. Like okay. I'm I'm looking to to I'm looking for land for for some farming. And so I, I didn't even know some of this information you're giving is very useful even for me because how do I know fake title deed okay. from a real title yes. deed and we have young people especially young people in our generation yes. because they're not old our parents know the they, they know the nitty gritties they know the, those sure. vitu za shamba sure. so for us young people tukikuja tu tumeona shamba sawa tu nini some of the one of the things that are are becoming a menace okay. i was reading the other day is unclaimed assets in terms of land how do you uh people in real estate able to tell what is unclaimed what is claimed because sometimes ni utembea naona tu uko kwetu shago sijaiyo na hiyo shamba la mtu ni imeka hapo miaka 10 miaka you know for as long as i have been there but then again one day you realize me andikwa not for sale or another day and then you never know the owner but then again you know the people that owned that land how are you able to distinguish those things mm, be a good question but before i answer that eh? mm. na pia uh, if you want to know a real agent mm. to a fake agent ama a real estate firm that is registered or not first of all do your own uh, search if it's for a real estate agent lazima kuwa licensed by the estate agent Re uh, registration board are uh, licensed uh, to a for a real uh, estate firm uh, you must do a search on CR, uh, CR12 wangali if this company is listed among uh, real estate firms when you are eligible to kuza mashamba good coming to your question mm -hmm. uh, claim and unclaimed assets as solomon nikipatio shamba uh, i must go to the land registry Niangalia yeah, uh, there is a document I said to you in a green card. Eh? Mm. A green card unapata ga inaonesha history ya shamba. Hakuna shamba imemea chini kama nyasi. So I will go sit with the land uh, registrar ni mwambi I've been given this land ni mampatio ni use. So I want to get the green card to this land atanipatia access. 
niangalie hii history nipate ya mwisho in ya grace na grace ndio amenipatia news hii shamba now i know it is genuine nikipata shamba grace ndio amenipatia but kwa green card inasema the current person ni mr so and so ajua that shamba iko na question that's why utapata uh, if i want to go somewhere far i'm abroad and i have land in gong what i what i will i will, I will advise these people uh, uh, you go to the land registry talk to the registrar umwambia by the way this land i'm not selling it na pia si i'm not planning to subdivide it so what you will uh, you need to do put my green card under lock and key so solomon akikuja nitaka ku forge hii title nitaka kuuza i will not be able do that green card itakuwa under lock and key hadi squile the rightful person atarudi ambie registrar na I'm back so you can free now my green card uh, so it's very important to a real estate agent or a real estate firm to go to uh, the land registry uh, find information about the green card so ndio ujue this land now is genuine to it, it is genuine can be sold or cannot be sold that has reminded me of the story that uh, was happening in portland is mm -hmm. the, the portland in uh, lukenya yeah so i have just a just a curious question mm -hmm. Those guys, because I know people that bought land mm -hmm. from Eastland, la, that port, Portland, mm -hmm. those people bought land from around 600,000, 300, like 600, 450 by 100 or something. Those are the measurements you use for measuring land. So they paid this 600. Mm -hmm. Now the government said, Portland. Yes. And then they gave a leeway for the guys paying the portland mm -hmm. uh, directly to be able to own the land fully so my question is this how what walilipo walikuwa kina nani okay and where 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 what happened in between i've never understood that okay uh, they say when mm -hmm. the deal is too good think twice mm -hmm. now hapa before aratuaze there are two types of title deed we have the freehold that is absolute and we have uh, the leasehold mm -hmm. pale kwa portland ilikuwa ni leasehold and uh, mm. usisahau ile ilikuwa ni siasa uh, our politicians were campaigning against that land mm. wanaambia watu you know what nikipatia hii kiti ndawapatia section ya ile shamba mm. it is communal land uh, not forgetting that land had no title deed so uh -huh. when uh, while people are buying walikuwa wanapatia kitu inaitwa allotment mm. Mm. allotment is something that uh, anyone can can get you, if you have been given an allotment, say of 2012, uh, 2012 uh, where that allotment will 2012. What I need to do is end Mali, maybe the Earth House, ni change your allotment in 2005. I don't know if I'm eligible, I'm going Because my allotment is 205. I'm going to So I'm going to forgery. Away from that, Mambo na Portland is politics. Our politicians they were campaigning against that land. Number two, PNS advice what when it comes where Kununua Shambo Nambiwa, Kwanza to answer a certificate, your Portland Ilians and a certificate. Yes. You buy shares at 300,000 yes. to Kakae when well, it was registered, you put yes. your allotment, then we move what it all did. So, if you could your process, Fikiria Sana. So, me what I can advise for Chana Nayo Kitu, and with after Mali Kuna title deed, and in a summer title deed, and absolute. So the process should not be to a certificate, a certificate allotment, allotment uh, uh, title. Uh, uh, the uh, process uh, should be, I have seen the land, we do a search, yes. then we get... Two things. Mm -hmm. It's either the land ikona, the title deed, mm -hmm. ama ikona that allotment. Allotment, juu utapata, hakuna shamba Nairobi ikona free or title deed. Mm -hmm. Ni, ikona allotment. Because, eh, see absolute, you have to pay the rents and the rent to the county government and the national government. So it's either it has an allotment or a free or title deed. Mambo ah. na certificate to a chane. All right. Okay. Yes. So finally, you have a passion for leadership. Sure. Uh, for leadership for young people. Yes. What, what, um, what gives you that motivation? Uh... I said an uh, empowerment, it is, it, it is to create leaders among leaders. Mm. Now, my passion was uh, ever since in high school, I uh, was a leader. I said that the school captain, after more university, I was a leader of school of business. So, leadership, it is within me. Mm. It, no, no, it is not made, it is created, it is inbuilt. So, 
in everything that I do. Uh, sitai kusema napenaka kuwa pale mbele, but I like to be a leader. Mm. Yes. What do you hope that young people will catch, especially in this in this generation that we are in, mm -hmm. in terms of leadership? Um, to watch the uh, perception ya tunambiago uongozi wa vijana ni kesho. Hakuna mm. kesho, ni sasa hivi. Mm. Kama si sasa ni sasa. <laughs> uh, to watch hiyo mambo tunambiago kesho, 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 kesho. So, hii young generation na wazawambia, tusitake kuka pale nyuma sana. Mm. You pick up the mantle. Mali wazazi wako wako, they did their part. Sasa ni weo kupale. Mm. Anzia kuwa leader hapo pale, pale chini mali yuliko kuenda mbele. So it's now or now? Yeah, it's now or now. We, can, we, we do it now or we do it now? Yes. All right, okay. What, what opportunities do you think are there for young people in entrepreneurship? Uh, opportunities are there. Na the thing that is creating those opportunities is the technology that we have. Kuko na internet, iko kila mali. So with that internet, you can do any sort of business that you have. Yeah, I was saying with that, with uh, uh, internet, you can do each and every business that you want. Be it online business, you have, maybe you want to teach us how to cook, how to buy land. And kuna opportunities with this kind of generation that we are in. Ah, amazing, yes. amazing. So, where do you hope that real time will be in a few years? Uh, in a few years, I would hope real time uh, properties, tutakuwa uh, mahali we are giving these young people, like a payment plan of maybe two to three years to, so that we can enable them to acquire land very easily na bila stress, uh, bila stress mrefu. Tu wachana na historia, 90 days ama 180 days. We give this young generation like three, two years mm. to uh, a flexible payment plan. Mm. Yes. So, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, as real time. Yes. And as, and as a CEO, as a leader, as someone who carries a couple of um, burdens or mm -hmm. rather a couple of things yes. you do, what are some of the lessons you've taught, you've, you've been taught by real time, that is business? Mm -hmm. What are some of the lessons? Okay, let's first talk about what some of the lessons you've picked from business before we talk about some of the lessons you've picked along leadership. Uh, some of the lessons ni uh, patience. Mm. In any in any business, you have to be patient. No, no. And you, uh, still, with patience, it brings about responsibilities. No, no. If you are patient enough to see your business grow, then you are responsible. Mm. Yes. All right. So what are some of the lessons now you've picked along as a leader? Uh, as a leader, you have to be accommodative. Mm. You will meet different people, diverse people. So if you're not if you're not accommodative, you lose the grip. That's why you're seeing uh, like our politicians. The the politicians that are accommodative, mm -hmm. wako kiti mm -hmm. The people who are not accommodative, they are not uh, they are nowhere to be seen. Yes. Amazing. So do you have any political aspirations? Uh, I said it's it is now on <laughs> or never. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's a good question. Yes. So to kiendelea, definitely. We will. You will see. All right. Yes. I, I don't know why I felt to ask you that. I think it's because you're very passionate about yes. leadership. Yes. Okay. Any other thing you'd want us to know about you real time before we... Uh, about real time, uh, we are located in Ngong, mm -hmm. uh, Ngong town. Okay. We are at Kibo, Kibo, Kibo House Third Floor. Na pia we, we deal with land in Ngong, Kajiado, Kiambu and Nairobi. Now, Pia, if you feel you have any question relating to real estate, kindly, to Tafte. We will not charge you to talk to explain here easily. Yes. Amazing. So you, yeah. you've already told us where we will find you. Yes, that yes. By uh, and, and still, uh, w uh, you can get my personal number. Okay. Uh, that is 0718-608-549. That is 0718-608-549 any other social media platform to co kama real time properties amangong prime properties yes. amazing thank you so much for Welcome. your time we are very grateful that you come asante sana asante sana yes. uh, personally 
I've learned something. I've really learned something, especially because I have an interest in learning. That is what we do. On a normal exactly. Yes. Thank you so much. Asante. That was Solomon Ametombe. It's now or now. That was Solomon Munguti. You have learned. I don't know where come on learn. Mimi, ni me learn. Vitu I have known how to distinguish a fake title deed from a real one. I have learned the process of actually buying a property. And I think we didn't even, I've just realized we didn't even talk about houses and oh. buying houses and... Yeah. The process is all the same. The process is still yes, the same. Yes, yes. You, you... Search, whatever, but search. when mm -hmm. it comes to housing, it's either you have been financed by a bank or other financial institution. You can either acquire the house through cash price, uh, maybe a payment plan or mortgage. Ah, I should have asked you that. Okay. Or you want to say something about it before we go? Okay, about housing. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, the process it's 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 all the same, mm -hmm. uh, similar to land. But when it comes to houses, uh, majority of the people are being financed by bank. Mm -hmm. It's either you have been given a mortgage of maybe 15, 20 years for the repayment plan, or you come tell us, you know what, me I don't have a mortgage, but you can give me a flexible payment plan to this house. Yes. So now that has sparked something in my mind that I, I have always been thinking about before we c conclude the conversation. Yes. Is the part here, is it, would you advise me to buy land and build or would you advise me to buy an already built property? Mm, perfect question. It will depend on uh, if you ask Solomon that question, mm -hmm. I, will, I will advise you buy yourself a land and build according to your design, something that you have a, an, an history of. Uh, in most case scenario, there are court cases when uh, developers have been sued by the clients. You, you sold us this house, after five years, kuna cracks, tiles are popping off. You see, so I would advise you get yourself a good land and buy s uh, and build something according to your desire and your dream. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I think it escaped my mind. My mind was thinking about okay. lands and properties. Yes. And I, would, I didn't remember the part here, houses. Okay. But thank you so much for your time. You're Welcome. very grateful. Asante sana. Asante sana. So I was saying before I forgot that I didn't even ask about Mamboya Nyumba, but as I was saying, I have learned about the, you know, I love doing recap. So I have learned about distinguishing fake from real and then knowing the whole process of purchasing a property. So as a young person, be informed. Don't go out there purchasing property. You don't know the history about it find certified realtors like Solomon and they will be able to help you get what you need. We are taking a very short break but we will be coming back with another conversation. Keep it here. <laughs>